In this video, we're going to do some more practice problems under the CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 free worksheets. And this is going to be the percent of change worksheet. Our directions are to find each percent change to the nearest percent and then state if it is an increase or a decrease. So there's a formula for calculating percent change. That formula is the new value minus the old value all over or divided by the old value. So new minus old divided by old will give you the percent change. So we're starting at 45 feet. So we're going from 45 feet to 92 feet. So our old value is this 45 since that was our starting point. And our new value is this 92. So plugging those numbers into this formula, we're going to do 92 minus 45, all of that divided by 45. Now let me go ahead and get a calculator and bring it over to the screen. Go ahead and enter in 92 minus 45. That's going to be 47, and we're going to divide 47 by 45. This is going to give us 1.04 repeating. 1.04 repeating. So we can just cut that off at 1.044 for now. Now, we have a decimal, but we need to get this into a percent. In order to change it to a percent, we're going to move the decimal place over two times. Or simply multiply this by 100. That's going to leave us with 104.4 percent. Remember in the directions, it's said to round to the nearest percent and state if it's an increase or a decrease. So rounding to the nearest percent, this is going to really be 104%. And it's going to be an increase. So 104% increase. It's an increase because look, we're starting at a lower value and we're going to a higher value. So we're increasing that value. So for number one, it's a 104% increase. Number two, remembering the formula, our old value is 74. So from 74 to our new value of 85. So we're going to do new minus old divided by old. Our new value is 85 minus 74 is our old value, all divided by 74. Now we can already tell this is going to be an increase because we're going up from 74 to 85. But let's calculate that percentage. We're going to do 85 minus 74 and then divide that, so that's 11, by 74. That's going to be 0.1486. So let's go four decimal places in this case. 0.1486. So 0 0.1486. To change that to a percent, we're going to move the decimal place over twice since we're essentially multiplying by 100. That's going to be 14.8. Six, which rounds to 15. So we have a 15% increase. Number three, from 74 to 75 feet. Our old value is 74 feet and our new value is 75 feet. So you can tell we're going up a foot. So that's going to be an increase. New value minus old value all over the old value. That's going to be 75 minus 74, which is one divided by 74. That's going to be 0 0.0135. 0 0.0135, convert that to a percent. 
that's going to be 1.35%, which rounds to 1%. So this is a 1% increase. Number four, from 36 to 90. Our old value is 36 and our new value is 90. So new minus old divided by old. New 90 minus old 36. 54 is that and then we're going to divide that by the old which is 36. That'll get us to 1.5. Convert to a percent, moving the decimal place over twice. Putting in our placeholder zero, that's going to be 150%. So this, going from 36 to 90, is an increase. So that's 150% increase. Number five, from 94 to 34. Our old value is 94 and our new is 34. So 34 minus 94 divided by our old of 94. We're starting at 94 miles and decreasing to 34. So this is going to be a decrease. But let me show you another way that we're going to be able to tell that it's a decrease immediately. When we enter these numbers into the calculator, we're going to do 34 minus 94. That's going to give us a negative 60. We're going to divide that by 94. That's a negative 0.638. So negative 0 0.638. Convert that to a percent. And I'll go ahead and round at the same time. It's just going to be negative 64 percent. Now notice, this is the first time we've gotten a negative answer. That's because when we do the subtraction, we're taking the new value and subtracting the old. And we're going to get a negative number. So we know that when we receive a negative percentage, it's a percent decrease. So this is a 64 percent decrease. And once we add decrease, we no longer need to include the negatives because they know we're going down 64%. Number six, from 12 feet to 23 feet. 23, the new value minus the old value all over the old value. 23 minus 12 all over 12 is 0.916 repeating. So I'm going to write 0 0.916. When we convert that to a fraction, multiply by 100, and I'm going to go ahead and round in the same step, we're going to get 92%. So this is a 92% increase. Number seven, from 83 hours to 76. So we're decreasing and we're going to get a negative. Starting at 76, we're going to 83 and that's all over the old value of 83. 76 minus 83, divide that by 83, is going to give us a negative 0 0.084. So negative 0 0.084, converting that is going to be 8% and that's a negative 8% so we know that it is an 8% decrease from 24 grams to 96 grams so we're increasing that amount so we can predict that this is going to be an increase 96 minus the old of 24 divided by the old 96 minus 24, that's 72, divide that by 24, and we're going to get 3. 
we need to convert this 3 to a percentage, so we're going to move the decimal place over twice. 1, 2. We need to put in some placeholders so that we can see that this is going to be 300%. And that is an increase. I'll go ahead and stop the video here at number 8. We'll continue on in the next video with numbers 9 through 18 and then finish out with numbers 19 to 24.